Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Hub. This is a series of 5 lectures on heteropolysaccharides and I am going to discuss the glycosaminoglycans or mucopolysaccharides in this lecture. The heteropolysaccharides are basically divided into two groups that is glycosaminoglycans or mucopolysaccharides and the second one is glycoproteins. So first of all we will discuss what is glycosaminoglycans or mucopolysaccharides. Glycosaminoglycans are long unbranched polysaccharides having repeated units of disaccharide. Now, this disaccharide is having one unit either of uronic acid or galactose and the second one is an amino sugar. Among this, if uronic acid is present, then glucuronic acid will be there or l hydronic acid will be there while if amino sugar is there then it will be either n acetyl glucosamine or simply glucosamine or N acetyl galactosamide. Now, most important gags are hyaluronic acid, chondroitin. Sulfate, heparin, it also exists as heparin sulfate, dermatin sulfate. Keratin sulfate. We can remember these five in the sequence by high court help desk that is hyaluronic acid, chondroitin sulfate, heparin, dermatin sulfate, and keratin sulfate. This sequence will allow to remember these constituents which I am going to write here in a very easy way. For example, if I am taking the uronic acid or galactose, then we know that if uronic acid is there, it will be either glucuronic acid or l hydronic acid. So in first three, there is gluconic acid. L-hydronic acid is in third and fourth. That is here L-hydronic acid or glucuronic acid will be there. And in the last one galactose is there. So in first three glucuronic acid hydronic acid in third and fourth and galactose in last one.
Now, amino sugar. N acetyl glucosamine. Glucosamine N acetyl glucosamine. Now glucosamine is coming alternately. Then the remaining in remaining gags that is chondroitin sulfate and dermatin sulfate, these are also alternate. So N acetyl. Galactosamine. Now, what are the locations of hyaluronic acid and the functions? Synovial fluid. Loose connected tissue, umbilical fluid, and vitreous humor. Here, the functions which are performed by this hyaluronic acid are it acts as lubricant, shock absorber. provides shape. Now chondroitin sulphate. Chondroitin sulphate is found in skin, blood vessels, cartilage and bones. Here it will provide shape. Heparin, we know that heparin is found in mast cells and it acts as anticoagulant. Now dermatin sulfate, it is found in skin, blood vessels, cornea and heart walls. Here it will provide shape. Transparency. The last one is keratin sulfate and it is found in loose connected tissue, cartilage and cornea. Again it is responsible for transparency to cornea. So these are base examples of glycosaminoglycans. Hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.